So when you think about programming and the languages of which you can choose, the option is simple. You can choose one from the list of dozens of them. It's harder than choosing the foreign language to choose from. But of course, there are some of the languages that you can choose, get the one of the most sophisticated, widely used, or just the one that you like the most. So what are the options? Python, the one who got it all right, but still is chill enough to let you code without semicolons. JavaScript, a cool kid that somehow ended up in every conversation, even when it's not invitated. Java, the corporate powerhouse that won't let you forget about types. C Sharp, the slick, modern sibling of C who likes to hang out with the rich .NET crowd. C, the old timer who is still everyone's foundation, whatever you like it or not. C++, the middle-aged uncle trying to be cool by using classes but still loves his old C habits. Ruby, the artist of the group who values beauty over speed. Go, the practical, efficient, no-nonsense worker who likes to keep things simple. Swift, the trendy youngster making sure every app look good on your iPhone. PHP, the scripter that runs the underbelly of the web and still wears a proud badge of it works, the Dutch. TypeScript, JavaScript overachieving sibling who insists on double checking for everything. Scala, the intellectual that brings functional programming to the Java virtual machine. Kotlin, the quiet understudy of Java who ended up stealing the Android show. Rust, the safety obsessed who won't let you cut corners, literally providing you from causing disasters. Perl, the cryptic poet whose scripts are as incredible as ancient runes. Lua, the behind the scenes assistance that makes sure your game modes work. Haskell, the math professor everyone respects, but not everyone visit during office hours. Elixir, the alchemist brewing fault tolerant potions for scalable apps. Julia, the scientist obsessed with numbers, speed, and disrupting the status quo. Dart, the enthusiastic building bridges across the Google empire with flutter wings. You can Google for much more options, but remember, to choose one and stay with that. Go blindly after you know a lot of them, but if you don't know what to choose, you can choose Assembler, the best and easiest one.